you're going to need your watercolour paints and um, perhaps some tape to hold things in place. On the boat it gets quite wet so a hairdryer comes in handy. got my usual paint brushes. In particular I'm going to use my finer paint brushes and also quite a large paint brush to start off with to do the background. I have my collapsible water container and as always a big cheers to you and start with a glass of Baileys. You're going to want to take a horizon line to start off with your background. You can do it in a coloured wash or you can just do it in a plain water. I've chosen a bit of a coloured wash but you're going to see in a minute that I'm going to really work that back. So I'm taking all that water down onto the paint and um, just really wetting the paper with it and um, seeing kind of what evolves. I'm going to go for a bit of a um, purple, blue, orange background for this picture. Take all of the paint um, up to the edges and then I'm going to introduce one of my favourite colours, this purple colour. You can see I don't have very much of it left so um, I do use it quite regularly. So I'm just going to take it all the way across, get it quite, get your brush quite wet and, um, and just do some horizontal strokes, strokes all the way across the page. I'm going to try to remove some of the colour just to let it blend in together a little bit and then I'm going to introduce the orange over so that it um, creates a bit of a contrast. You can see here I'm really working the paintbrush around the page and, um, and that's just till I get the desired kind of pressure that I want and um, introducing the colour when I think that maybe I need to add a little bit more detail. my purple back onto my paintbrush and I haven't got it as wet as it has before. Um, I'm still working on really wet paper so it'll blend but I'm just wanting a, a very soft cloud outline here, one on either side just to really balance it up. Maybe take a slightly darker blue and add some of the depth into the sky and then really work that back with the water. At this point I'm taking some of the colour off of the, the um, background watercolour paper because this is where I want to start putting my dragonfly. So um, I'm quite happy for the dragonfly wings to be a bit transparent and for you to see some of the background but I really want to take some of that background off and, um, and that's what that um, bit of paintbrush does. 
just a bit of green here now at the front um, again just so that I'm, I'm able to paint the boat over it so it's a very light wash This is a tan colour that I use for quite a lot of the um, detail that I end up doing in the water. So you have to remember the water is not exactly blue, um, but this tan picks up the, the yellow from the sky and also some of the reflection and um, it does tend to go really well with the blue. going to um, put a tiny bit of um, extra colour detail into the foreground and then I might need to actually I'll add some extra water and I'll probably need to remove some of that detail because that's where I want to place my narrow boat. This part of the foreground and background is going to have to dry completely thoroughly before I put the detail of my um, dragonflies in.